I gotta be honest, this video is long overdue. I don't know about you, but every now and then I get in the mood to buy comics. As you can see here, I've got a stack of boxes and packages that I have ordered from multiple sellers online, including places like uh, Whatnot, uh, eBay, and Instagram Live. I've had them for, I think, the longest is maybe two weeks on some of these packages. I just haven't had the time to open them. Well, I say I haven't had time to open them. I knew I wanted to open them on camera and I finally got a chance to do that tonight. So let's get into these boxes. These are just the most recent packages that I've gotten and two of them are from community members. Um, one of them being Bronze and Modern Gods in one of their live Instagram sales and the other is Sticky Goose from YouTube. And I think I have a pretty good idea of what I bought. I went and looked at uh, like confirmation emails just to kind of get an idea there are a couple of books here that I forgot about and in fact uh, this bigger package I know there's two large uh, compendiums in here but I honestly don't remember what else I bought from Sticky Goose but I know that this top box is a slab from eBay so let's go ahead and start with it I do like that it came packed um, in a pre-made or a priority mail mailer and then I can tell that there's probably a Gemini mailer inside. I don't mind getting Gemini mailers just raw most of the time as long as they're like protected inside um, but I do like it when they come in the prepaid uh, priority mail mailers. It just keeps like things like dirt and grime out of there. I don't know about you but sometimes um, not necessarily with my USPS packages but sometimes FedEx and uh, UPS their trucks can be a little dirty in the back and sometimes you just have this grime and grossness that comes on some of the packages um, and when they're inside of these sealed up packages here um, that's my preference to keep the books as clean as possible so just kind of one of those things that I like to see when I buy things and also something I like to do when I ship packages out now it may cost a little more depending on the number of books you're shipping um, to send in one of these like large flat rate uh, mailers but it does protect the books um, from that kind of dust and grime as long as you're also putting them in a uh, Gemini or some similar form of packaging So let's go ahead and get into this one here. Like I said, this is an eBay purchase should be a slab Seems to be packaged up pretty good here, which is great. Oh, maybe this maybe this isn't what I thought it was Wait a second. Is this? Oh, that's funny. This smaller package is actually the one from John over at Bronze and Modern Gods. I purchased these books in one of their recent uh, live sales. This was like a pop-up one. I don't think they had announced this one. It was just John selling this evening um, in this show, and I just happened to catch the sale um, about 20 minutes after it started. I hung around the whole time. If you haven't been to one of the Bronze and Modern Gods live Instagram sales, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's a lot of fun. Um, you'll pick up on a lot of inside jokes, sound effects, um, things like that. Um, and sometimes it's both John and Richard selling from uh, Bronze and Modern Gods, uh, but other times it's just one or the other. Either way, it's a good time, great deals to be had, lots of awesome books that they are offering up, um, and just a really fun hangout. Uh, sometimes, like, a lot of times around like Friday or Saturday evenings, and I'll just have it up on my phone or my computer on the other screen, even if I don't plan to buy anything, just sitting in there as like background, background noise and watching it is a really good time. All right, so these are the books from John. Like I said, it's not the slab that I thought it was. That must be in this one. I should have looked at labels before I started spouting off, but got multiple books here, packaged up nicely, um, and all packaged inside of a larger, like a uh, golden age or magazine sized actually yeah magazine sized bag to keep them all together first up we have amazing spider-man number 153 i believe this was a book that i needed for my run um i always have my little notebook here to keep track of my books i'm old school i like to write them down i do have a digital copy as well but uh it's just handy to have that uh available for me whenever i need it um so yeah asm 153 looks to be in pretty nice shape um he said that there is a chip on this i'm trying to remember where that was on the book it may have been on the back cover if i remember correctly um but john kind of gave it a grade of an 8.0 on this book so Always happy to add another Amazing Spider-Man book to my collection. All right, next up was Forbidden Tales of Dark Mansion. This is issue number, let's see here. I don't remember. Number five, yeah, that's right. Um, this is just an awesome, awesome, like horror, not horror, but just suspense cover. Um, I'm trying to remember why I picked this up, what the reasoning was for that. I feel like there was some some sort of reason. John has looks like he's got this graded at a 9.0. It does look to be really clean here. 
Um, a lot of times the books that he sells actually have been pressed as well um, and sometimes cleaned, um, but I've never had an issue with any of the books that I've got from John um, on his live sales. Same thing with Richard. Um, I've bought from both of them many times. Um, they're really awesome to work with on uh, getting you books uh, quickly. You know, they'll ask for payment the next day. They ship them out usually that same day that they receive the payment and they ship them out quick. Um, which I really appreciate. You know, it's always always nice to uh, receive things that you've purchased in a timely manner, and they are great at that, so I appreciate that. All right, and let's see here. Last but not least on the books that I purchased was Star Slayer. And the other nice thing uh, that I want to mention is, let's see here. This book is in a Mylar, a nice backer board. This book is in a Mylar as well, and this is Star Slayer, The Log of the Jolly Roger, issue number three. Now, I had asked John if he had any Dave Stevens covers. He indicated he did not, but he knew of a book that had Dave Stevens artwork inside of it. Just happened to be this book here in a 9.2 plus, um, and I picked this up for just $9 from John. Um, so I've really fallen in love with Dave Stevens artwork. Um, I'm really looking forward to purchasing at some point um, uh, Planet Comics issue number one. Until that day comes, uh, I'm just settling for other books that I can afford. Um, I'd really like to find a high grade copy of that book, raw or graded. Um, but until I do, um, I'm just going to settle for the other books uh, that Dave has done artwork on, either covers or interior artwork. And a lot of times John will throw in a bonus book or two, depending on what you've ordered from him. Uh, in this case, he threw in Uncanny X-Men 237 here, has a little label here, here, bonus book. Always appreciated and nice to get uh, additional freebies thrown in. So appreciate it, John. All right, next up is that slab. And I know what this is, and I'm super excited to add it to the collection. Um, let's get into it. Oh, some packing peanuts. I appreciate the extra packaging, but man, peanuts are not my favorite for sure. Cause I know this is just going to go everywhere and I've got to clean it up now. Let's see if we can get this out with the least amount of peanuts spilling as possible. All right. Not terrible, but, uh, not my favorite, uh, wrapping method either. Got some bubble wrap on this, although it's a book protected in a slab. I always like to see extra bubble wrap and things like that to keep the book safe in transit. Now, I know this is a 9.8, and this is Hollow's Eve number one. This is a variant cover. Uh, this is the Allen variant by Chris Chris Allen. Uh, he's one of the Stormbreakers, um, and I had to actually look up what that Stormbreakers uh, title meant and I because I'd seen it on some books. Um, but being back into comics in the last couple years, it wasn't a term that I was familiar with. That's kind of like the new class of uh, upcoming artists for Marvel. Um, and I definitely think that is the case with uh, Chris Allen here. I love this Hallow's Eve cover and I've been collecting Hallow's Eve books, uh, especially number one. Um, and I've been picking up quite a few slabbed copies of all the variants, um, just some amazing covers. And it's a character that I've really uh, come to love um, since she kind of came back into the limelight um, back in fall. Um, in one of the amazing Spider-Man books, and then of course her solo run starting uh, a few months ago with Hallow's Eve number one. Um, but yeah, really nice. 9-8, white pages. Super excited to add this to the collection. All right, and last up is my order from Sticky Goose. Now I found Sticky Goose a few months ago on YouTube. I've really enjoyed his uh, content and commentary on uh, just the comics world in general, some of his experiences with buying and uh, selling at shows, uh, visiting shows and shops. Um, he's got kind of a unique nickname that a shop gave to him and one nickname that he gave to another shop. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out his channel. Um, you'll be sure to find the video. Uh, it was a pretty popular one pretty recently. But anyways, Sticky Goose had a live sale on YouTube a couple weeks ago, and I was fortunate enough to get that notification on YouTube and hopped in there and picked up some books. I'm really excited about the actual like compendiums that I picked up from him. Uh, and I don't remember what else I bought. I think I bought one or two just individual comics from him. Um, but I'm really excited about the books that I bought. And again, really fair pricing on this. He was definitely making deals as well. There was uh, a couple runs that he had put up or just really large lots. I think it was like maybe some um, bronze and copper, like eh, probably copper uh, Iron Man and maybe some Avengers uh, that he was putting lots together for people. And people were getting really good deals on these. I think he's just trying to clear out some room, uh, make room for more books and uh, make sure that people got really good deals. So if you're looking for something like that, it might be worth 
checking out one of his live streams. Good packaging so far, nice sturdy box, thick box as well, uh, which is really nice, especially when you're shipping things like actual books. Uh, so we've got a Gemini mailer here with a comic in it. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that open first, since I don't remember what it is. Nice pull tab on the tape there, makes it easier to come off. And I guess I purchased uh, an Uncanny X-Men issue 156, uh, an appearance of the Star Jammers here. Um, this is for sure a book that I need for my collection, um, so I'm sure that I will be able to check this off as soon as this video is over. All right, and now on to the actual books that I purchased in the live sale. Two compendiums here. Boy, these are hefty. Um, they were packaged really nice though, and they look like they have shown up in amazing shape. So let's get this big box out of the way and show you Spawn Compendium number one and Spawn Compendium number two. Super excited to have these in my collection. I've recently completed my run of like one through 50 or 75 of Spawn. Um, but they're not all books that I've read and with these compendiums, you know I've got everything here to be able to take a look at quite a few pages I mean look at these suckers and they are so heavy like super dense super excited to get to start reading these And just in case you didn't know compendium 1 covers issues 1 through 50 while compendium 2 is 51 through 100 So I've got plenty of reading here um, and uh, I'm super excited to start reading these. All right, well, like I said in the beginning, it has been way too long for me to make this video. I've been sitting on these boxes for a couple weeks now, and I finally had a chance to sit down and make this video. Um, I don't know what I'm most excited to have gotten in. I'm really excited to start reading these Spawn books, but I'm also excited about this 9.8 Hollow's Eve slab um, and the Dave Stevens artwork. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about all of it. Let me know in the comments below what you've picked up recently from somewhere like an Instagram live sale, maybe a YouTube live stream, or even on eBay or whatnot. Um, and definitely give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe so you're made aware of new content when I release it. And until next time, we'll catch you later.